Hello guys, long time no see, but welcome to today's video where I am taking you through my MLK weekend road trip to St. Louis. I'm so excited. So right now I'm still in my car and I just got into St. Louis. It is about 7.30 on Saturday. And let me just kind of rig over the past like 12 hours. So yesterday I did a full day of school and band and everything. I slept from 9 to 12, and so at 12 a.m. I got up, and I drove about six hours here, and I was so tired that I pulled into, a, like, a rest area, and I slept in the back of my car for, like, two hours. So, and then I finished the rest of the drive this morning, which was about 45 minutes. So, not too bad. I feel pretty good, considering I am running off five hours of bad sleep and, you know, driving all night. Um, but that's okay. So right now, I'm waiting about 20 minutes until... So right now, I'm waiting until Lamier Sculpture Park opens so I can go on a walk and look at all the cool sculptures. I just figured this was a cool thing I could do before I go check into my Airbnb. A little chilly outside, but that's okay. I have my hoodie and some warm pants on. And it's a little chilly outside, but that's okay. I have my hoodie and we can bear the cold and it'll just get me moving after being in the car for so long. And I think after I'll probably go to Starbucks just as a treat. I have a gift card there. So technically that means free Starbucks. Yeah. So, so I'll get myself like a little biscuit or something to save money, even though I'm spending a gift card. Anyways, not important. So let's see how this goes. I take it back, it's way too cold. <laughs> I'm absolutely frozen right now. Okay, that means it's time for a hot coffee. I actually decided that instead of Starbucks, I'm gonna try and find someplace local. Like, I'm only in St. Louis once and I can get Starbucks anytime. So since Scott Joplin's house was closed, sad, I would have loved to see that, um, I decided to go lifting and I found Goodwill Outlet. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I had no idea Goodwill Outlets were that wild. I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm just used to the small town Goodwill that you just go donate stuff at, <laughs> but no, that was wild in there. They know how to thrift. So I have some time to kill before I have to check into my Airbnb. So, I'm just gonna kill some time around the city, see what there is to do. Yeah, I don't really know. It's a big city and I like it. It's really cute. And there's so many different parts of it already. And I've been here like two hours. So, I'm excited to explore. how beautiful this place is oh my gosh also like the weather was really cold this morning like I couldn't eat my toes were frozen anyways but like now it's still a bit nippy but like I'm chilling out here like this is awesome it's so nice Anyways, before I go to the other park I was at, I stopped at this park because this one looks really cool and I want to take some pictures. Okay, so I did an outfit change, so I no longer look too crusty. And this is also warmer because I put the leggings under my jeans and that was a game changer.
There's also a little trail where you can walk around this huge fort thing. So the hours for that building said nine to 11, but then I saw people going in. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I went in too. Turns out it was a whole wedding and I done walked in on the wedding. I think it was the reception, but I was like skirt. So I got, I got out of there real quick. Okay, I know the lighting is terrible, but I wanted to get up a little update because I haven't just like kind of said what I've been doing for the past few hours. I've just kind of shown a few random clips. So I went to Forest Park and I saw the Jewel Box, the Art Museum, the History Museum. Um, the outside of the Art Museum was like my favorite and the art was, oh my gosh, it was like chef's kiss in there. The history was kind of lame. Um, I mean, there wasn't much interesting, and the jewel box was really pretty. That was the one that I snuck into the wedding party thing, so there's that. And I just finished eating pho, and it was amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna let this pho sit, and I have a little to-go thing, so I have lunch for another day. Save that coin, and then I'm gonna read and then I might go get some hot chocolate since it's pretty chilly out. Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. This is my day two here, I'm so excited. So I just got done with mass at Cathedral Basilica and it was so pretty, it was so nice inside. It's just unreal, like the art and the decor and just everything, I just can't, you have to see it for yourself. Like pictures and videos don't do it justice. Like it's so beautiful inside there. And the outside, let me show you. This also sucks too, but like, look at the outside of this building. This is a view from my car. Anyways, I had to rush out of my room this morning because I woke up like 30 minutes late. And so I had to get ready in 10 minutes and it was a 20 minute drive here. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I had a Trader Joe's protein bar. It was kind of mid, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna go get some coffee because I turns out college turns you into a coffee person. Anyways, so let's go get some coffee. I found this cute cafe and we're gonna go to it. This is literally the perfect place to come and walk around and enjoy nature. Granted, I came in January, so there's not gonna be a bunch of flowers out, but it's still so beautiful. And this one, this one was worth paying the entry fee. Okay, so the hair has not really held up through the day. It's been really windy. So it's kind of blown my hair around and now it's all frizzy, but that is okay. I wanted to show you guys cause I just got something. I got these earrings right here. Hello. Oh, these earrings. And I'm so excited because I saw them yesterday at the Missouri History Museum. And I was like, those are cool. I really want those. So I took a picture of it and I was like, sit on it, wait until like, see if you find anything else you like. So I haven't found anything. 
and I put a poll on my close friends on Instagram. I was like, should I get these? And of course everyone said yes. So I came back here and I got them. And turns out they were half off. I paid $7 for these pretty earrings instead of like the 16 I was gonna pay. I was so excited. Anyways, as kind of my memory of St. Louis, I got some earrings instead of like a sticker or a keychain. Cause what am I gonna do with that? But every time I wear these, people can ask me, oh, where'd you get your earrings? And I said, St. Louis. It's just a, I love them. You better stop right now. These are the cutest earrings I've ever seen in my entire life. So right now it's only about 3.20 and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm just gonna finish my book because that sounds like a good idea right now. Other than that though, all I have left today really is dinner slash dessert. So really for today, all I have left is dinner slash dessert and the Ferris wheel. I'm gonna ride the St. Louis Ferris wheel, so. So I didn't vlog all day today because it was my drive back. So I drove all eight hours back to my college. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of a solo trip in St. Louis and gave you some ideas if you ever plan a visit, which I highly recommend. It was such a great city. And I, I really felt so I didn't feel like anyone was gonna follow me or gonna come kidnap me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will see you sometime in the next one. Bye.